welcome back to my channel okay so in my I think it's my last video I don't actually know when this video is going to be uploaded but um in my haul video my last anime haul video I mentioned that I love how I just got right into the video anyways I mentioned how I had a holy grail figure that I still needed to unbox that was sitting at the bottom of my shelf for like so freaking long and um that I, I was going to unbox it soon and today is the day. I am going to be unboxing a holy grail figure. This figure is part of another set sort of, of a figure I already own. And it is the World Uniform Operation Hyori Iki figure from Noragami. And it goes with that uh, Yato figure. So I'm so happy that I finally got Hyori and I can complete the set. There is a Bishamon figure, but I'm honestly not going to get that. My main concern was getting the main two. I, again, I wish there was a Yukine figure so badly, but um, there isn't, so. We have Yato and Hyori now, so I can't wait to get this thing unboxed. So here is just a preview of how the box looks. That's the side, the back, kind of a basic box. I mean, it's nothing too special. Before I get to actually unboxing this, there is something that pisses me off about this figure. Um, so this figure, as well as the Yato figure, are made by Mega House. And I think the Yato figure, I want to say, is a 1 8th. But this Hyori figure is not a scale. I don't think it is or if it is it's like closest to like a one tenth which makes no sense to me like it's smaller than the Yato figure it is part of their um, world uniform operation line um, yeah it kind of it just bothers me like if you were going to make both characters from the same series and you're the same you, oh god I just wish they made her the same size as Yato. I will put like a comparison up next to them, next to each other, just so you can see the sizes um, when they're together. Uh, but you know what? I've been wanting this figure anyway. I'm grateful that I have her. Um, so yeah, that's like the main thing that pisses me off about this figure. So hopefully when I put her next to Yato, it won't be too big of a difference, but yeah, it kind of just sucks. I don't know why Mega House did that. Um, it just makes no sense. But let's go ahead and unbox her. Please make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, this literally feels so unreal right now. Also, it's a little gloomy outside today. So I got a ring light. So please let me know what you think of the ring light, if it's actually doing its job. <laughs> um, I hope it is okay I do like this inset in the box cute super cute it's like the city and it's really adorable literally the worst part of opening these figures are the blister boxes okay yeah she's pretty small y'all <laughs> she's literally so tiny Okay, she has like plastic wrap inside her and like on her stomach. I don't know how I'm gonna rip that out. Oh, her literal torso comes off. Fantastic. Does literally everything come off on her? Her skirt comes off too. Okay, well, I did not know that. So her skirt comes off. We have her bottom half. And then we have her top half. So I, this is the first time I bought a figure that does that. I know uh, Mega House has those Sailor Moon World uniform figures. So if anybody has those, do those do that too? Do they come off? Alrighty. And then before I show the figure together, this is the base. I do like the small base, I will say. Um, yeah, 
small vase. And then that just says Noragami on it. I don't know if you can actually see that. And then there's this World Uniform logo on there. That's also um, on the box to indicate, I guess, that it's part of that series. All right, let's put her on. Okay, so she snaps on pretty nicely, but only one foot is on the peg, obviously, because of her pose. I do love her pose. I think it's nice. It's like she's kind of jumping on top of the buildings and stuff when she's in her spirit form or whatever, out of body experience. Uh, I do like the tail. It is, you know, bendable, but it's a tail. Um, her nails are painted. I do like how it it kind of fades into this light or darker color. You know, it, it, there's not much shading on her hair or anything really. I think the most shading there is is on the tail and on her like skirt. But I absolutely love her so much so I had to have her and these are the only, besides Bishaman, these are the only Noragami figures out there. So I will take what I can get. Um, yeah, I just love how flowy her dress is and everything and how, you know, it's, it's a basic pose but it has a little something extra to it, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, super cute. I love Hiyori so much. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's just so small. I wish it was bigger. Her face is adorable too. I'm actually thankful that they didn't really botch her face. She looks exactly like she does in the series, as did Yato, and I think they're gonna look super cute together. Um, of course, because this is removable, it, it kind of wobbles, but I think that's, I don't think you can, yeah, unless you put it exactly into place. I mean, even then it kind of wobbles, but yeah. So yeah, that is Hiyori, of course. We're gonna get a B-roll of her. Yeah, I don't really honestly have much to say about this figure just because I've wanted her for so long and I already knew she was gonna come out looking good. Um, the only problem I knew, when I bought her, I knew she was smaller than Yato, so uh, I was prepared for that. But let's go ahead and show you a comparison of how she looks next to him. So yeah, even if you put her next to Yato, she is noticeably smaller than him. And it just sucks because this is such a good figure. These two figures are so good and they look so good together. I got her like a couple months, I think, after buying Yato and filming that video of me unboxing Yato, so yeah, I've had her for a while now. But yeah, like I said, there's not much that I have to say about her, honestly. My main concern was getting her, how she turned out after that. I really honestly didn't care. I just wanted a Hyori figure. She looks good. I'm grateful I have her. I'm grateful we have a Hyori figure. We just need a Kofuku and Yukine, please. Um, but yeah. I am so happy ever. So that was the uh, Noragami Hyori Iki one ish <laughs> sized figure. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. I will see you in the next video. Please make sure you subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.